My name is B Walk, and welcome back to Copy Your Coin, where I show you how to copy your coin in the fastest growing market in world history. Okay, so today I'm going to be a it's going to be a quick video, just going to go over specifically my five top holdings in cryptocurrency and kind of how I see the technical picture, and then kind of jump into where we're going to take this uh, series going forward. So. I'm going to jump right into that but before i do it you already know i'm going to ask you to do three things people i'm going to ask you to hit that subscribe button hit that like button and hit that alert button so that you know when fresh content is out from copy your coin okay all right so let's jump into it right away uh as you know i go to coin market cap that's my go-to kind of give me the idea of what the market cap is looking like as we see the market cap currently is 229 billion it's certainly done some climbing here in the last week thanks to bitcoin uh, now, obviously, that has come down off its highs. It was at 8,000 at one time. Uh, but as you look here, Ethereum has rolled rolled up and come back off of its highs as well. You can kind of get a good glimpse right here a little, a little quick. Now, I'll get into a better picture in a moment. Uh, and then you can kind of look down here. And one of my other main ones is Cardano. And I'll, that's right here traveling about 0 0.80. And that's not that far off its highs. Actually, that's kind of rebounded some. But as you remember before, in a couple of videos ago, I said Cardano kind of led this, you know, and I, I was watching, I was paying attention. I'm sure that my Cardano holders were too. Okay, so like I said, I'm jump in here to the technical picture as we look. And as you can see, so I kind of want to draw your attention to this, this particular move here. And I talked about it before. Now, this is, when you're talking about this, this is somewhat parabolic or hyperbolic, if you will. And what that means is that it starts to climb fairly fast. In a healthy market, you want to see some pullback. Why, so while this is a 10% correction and everybody was quick to push the panic button, not me. Okay, now the reason reason being is because you're going to have to have some pullback. Now, this market is going to have some manipulation in it. I'm sure it does right now because it's real new. And like I said that before, and when equity markets first came on board back in the early 1900s, they had manipulation. There was things running like bucket shops. To my people who are in investing, you may know about those, but there was a whole lot of flim flam going on back then. Similar is happening right now because I think you're having some currencies that are trap that are exchanging hands over the counter and not on any exchange. Okay, and that and that's fine. I mean, you're going to have some of that. I think we're going to we're going to iron those wrinkles out. But again, I can't stress this enough: the cryptocurrency is in its nature are highly speculative, so you shouldn't be dumping all of your money any any money that you have that if you lose and it's going to change your lifestyle then you've got too much money in this market, okay? You can't just think about all the upsides and the dollar signs in your, in your eyes and like, well, I'm gonna be a millionaire without thinking about how much money can you actually afford to lose because either scenario is is as li is likely, right? Now, obviously, on this channel, Cop Your Coin, I'm a, big, I'm a big proponent of cryptocurrency, but I want you to be smart and be shrewd with your investments. Okay, so again, like I said, 100% portfolio, 10% of it should be dedicated, 10% or less should be dedicated to cryptocurrency, in my humble opinion. But anyway, getting back to this particular chart, I think this is a, a positive right now. We're going to see, we're, we're trying to find some type of support. I imagine it's probably going to be around a 7,200 point. That's probably a good space for it to be. I do hold some Bitcoin. I'm continuing to, to build that, build my position in it as time goes. I think it's going to be a player for a while. You know, now it may there may be a changing of the guard, but I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. Okay, and another another holding I'd like to talk about is my Cardano holding, and you can see this. Okay, so again, the blue line here, similar to that Bitcoin, we're on daily charts. So the blue line is a 200-day moving average. And as you can see, like I said, Cardano kind of led this uh, awakening, if you will, of the cryptocurrency in 2019. And as you see, it it, it came up here, it gets to nine about 9.95 points, about nine cents, a little bit about the nine cents, and then fell back. Bouncing at 6.5 and it hit again, around 9 cents, it's falling back. I believe the next time we're going to turn, it's going to try to break through. So as you can see, it's it's holding strong on this support right here. We dipped a little, little bit below it right here, you know, but we got back above that 200 period moving average, 200 day moving average, which is a positive. Again, you the Cardano individuals out here know we're waiting on Shelly. That's, that's a big thing. I know uh, Charles Hoskins talked about doing Atla and partnering with Ethiopia, and that's fine. But the biggest, the biggest thing for Cardano is, is getting that Shelly update, and hopefully that happens sooner rather than later. Once that gets gets in in the air, once we we, we exit completely exit the Byron era and enter the Shelly era where we are in decentralization, I think you'll see Cardano really start to build on this. So there's a lot of accumulation that's happening. I know I've been buying, I'm still buying. 
because I feel like this is going to be strong. Another one that I hold, and I know people don't like to like to think this, but XRP, I think this is going to be a player in the space, okay? Again, I don't see the banks sitting this one out. If, if, this, if cryptocurrency becomes the de facto standard that we think it can be, there are going to be banks, large banks, involved in that. And you better believe there are going to be transactions that are going to be happening globally that are going to be have mass transactions and banks will be involved. So here we, here we go. So XRP has been basically it's been you know noisy or somewhat, but kind of going between uh, about 20, 28 cents and about 35 cents. And we just recently had that breakout here the last day. Now it's come back. We'll see what happens. It broke out to about what 48 cents, and we'll see if it continues to if it can create a, a, a bounce here on this. Like obviously previous resistance should become should, should become support so i'm expecting it to bounce if it does i probably will start to add a little bit more to that position as well uh another one i have ethereum uh, ethereum i'm holding that for a while because that's what i usually use to buy my altcoins so i always keep some ethereum in my in my account and as you can see ethereum has been consistently consistently building 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 and this is going higher and it broke out past that 200 period moving average that was a key point so I like where Ethereum is trading right now. It's pulling back some, taking a breather. That's fine. I imagine if we can get a bounce here somewhere around the 220 mark, I will buy some more Ethereum. <laughs> so that's another point of interest. And, and you can see the volume. Look at the volume that, that people jumped in and joined into. So I think there's some real moves. Like I said, 2019 is going to be a bottoming process for the cryptocurrency markets. What does that mean, B-Walk? It doesn't mean it's going to be a V. Bottoming process means it's going to have like a more of a bowl shape, kind of like that first shape that I saw you show, showed you with Bitcoin. And that's what's going to happen. OK, another holding that I have XLM. XLM is another one of my holdings. And this is one that, again, they are already decentralized. So it's a strong I think it's already a strong play. They are air, air dropping coins all the time. I've gotten a number of coins just from just sitting back and owning them and being with accounts. So. That's that's positive. This chart is not as bullish as the other ones. We're still waiting for it to break out. But again, it is past the 200 period moving average, the 200 day. So this is one where if I see it do a little bouncing, I will add to add to this position as well. We're kind of playing a waiting game. Now, you see the volume was definitely down to the downside here, the biggest volume. So we're going to see what happens. You know, the XLM, again, there's going to be some fundamental news that we'll talk about in the future. But that's another one that, that has my attention. So as kind of as I kind of just wrap this up, is XLM, ETH, XRP, Cardano, ADA, and BTC. Those are my top five holdings. In my last video, I asked you what your top five holdings are. These are my top five right here, right now. This is what I'm playing with, and this is what I continue to build, build my positions into. Hopefully we'll see some more movement here coming in and have some clarity coming in. Like, like I said, with Cardano and some uh, clarity coming in on what Bitcoin is going to be able to do and and moving forward and kind of where this cryptocurrency. We I think we're going to get an ETF here momentarily. Uh, I think we're going to get the SEC involved in regulation. And that, that's not a bad word. You need you need regulations to make sure people don't get cheated. You know, that's the point. You know, law all laws aren't bad. <laughs> OK. So anyway, that's my top five. Thank you for joining me, and I'll see you next time on Copy Your Coins.